and welcome to the Tuesday edition of the DC Today. A pretty slow and boring day in markets, but it has not been slow or boring overall for, let's say, the last 20 days. In the last 20 trading days, the market is up over 10%. That rate's above in the 99th percentile um, of, of all time. It just simply, that kind of movement in that period of time simply does not happen very often. The um, last couple of days may have been slow, but when you look at how much things dropped in September and October and how much they've rallied since, uh, you certainly have had more significant tug of war going on uh, over the last few months. What has continued even the last couple of days is this incredible rally in the bond market. And the uh, tenure dropped another six basis points today, down to 4.33%. And we were down, you know, nine to 12 basis points at most spots in the yield curve, three year, five year, seven year, kind of the middle of the curve. So you got a huge rally in bonds there. And basically what you're left with is an ultra short part of the yield curve, let's call it one month, three months, that's still around 5.4% where the Fed funds rate is. But then when you go from two or three months to two or three years, it drops a full percentage point from 100 basis points from well, roughly 5.4 to 4.4. And, and so the term structure right now is such that the term premium is negative. And all that means is that and I talked about this at Dividend Cafe a month or so ago, that growth expectations and inflation expectations are very low, and you're basically getting the short end of the curve plus a negative term premium in the bond yield curve. Um, and I believe that speaks to growth and inflation expectations, and yet, hopefully, at the point at which the Fed does begin cutting the short end, the term premium will hold, the, excuse me, the term structure will be such that longer dated uh, maturities will hold and you'll get a normalizing of that yield curve, uh, an uninverting, and there will be some degree of growth priced into the bond market. Um, but we can't really get optics on that till the Fed does indeed cut the, the Fed funds rate. So that's where things stand now. And the bond market has driven a significant rally in the stock market. And uh, even a day like today, the Dow was up 84 points, 24 basis points. The S&P was up just 10 basis points, pretty flat. NASDAQ was up a little over a quarter point. Real estate was the top performing sector, up half a percent. Uh, consumer discretionary was right there as well. Healthcare was down half a percent. So very... Um, muted, you know, in terms of the worst case and the best case, the Delta not too far apart. I know within our own dividend portfolio today, no uh, stock was uh, a worse contributor than negative four basis points and no stock was a better contributor than po positive four basis points. And so being a money manager who's looking at that every single day, it's really rare to see that little dispersion um, oil was up 2% today. It's back above $76. And then the um, other thing I wanted to go through economically was that rents fell. The, the uh, apartment nationalist rent report for the month of November showed rents down 0.9% on the month, uh, a decline in rents in 89 out of 100 cities that uh, they monitor. So um, ongoing disinflation there. Uh, somebody did ask me, by the way, in the Ask David section, if I thought it was a bad idea for the Fed to raise rates as a way of constraining demand, um, which is in their mind intended to bring demand in line with supply and therefore you mute some inflationary pressures. And I gave an answer there that I'm not going to go through now on the podcast, but I think you should read at the dctoday.com. Um, because I think it helps summarize in, in, not, in just a paragraph or two a uh, better understanding of inflation than maybe the one that is sometimes articulated and certainly a better idea of what the Fed can and can't and should and shouldn't do. Um, so I'll leave it there. There's a few different links you'll, you'll want to check out the DC Today. Uh, clients will receive their weekly portfolio holdings report bright and early tomorrow morning. And then um, I'm jumping on a plane tonight for a meeting on the East Coast tomorrow. So Brian Seitel will bring you D.C. today uh, on Wednesday. And then I'll be back in California Thursday. 
and uh, we'll go from there. That's about all I have. Reach out with any questions. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.